Now, does a 240 volt circuit have a neutral? No. Does it? No. Now, are there some 240 volt appliances that do have a neutral? What, give, what's an example of one? A dryer. Dryer, range. They'll have a, they will have a neutral. And that's because there are certain 120 volt components in it, right? But on an AC condenser, is there a neutral? No, there's not. There's just ground. And ground is what? What is ground for? Safety. Safety circuit. Right, ground is a safety circuit. So you, ground isn't carrying anything and it's never designed to carry anything. So, but let's say I decide to use ground. Like I said, we're, we teach, we're teaching symbols as we're teaching everything else. So the symbol for ground is like this. Something like that, okay? So I'm gonna use this as my ground reference point in this, in this setup here. Let's, we'll remove this switch. So we got a, we got a motor here, shaded pole, 240 volt motor. Do you know why I'm calling it a shaded pole motor? Anybody know? Because it only has two legs. Can we take the chair out of the circuit? You want the chair out? Okay. Yeah, because the chair, the chair is causing some... Sorry about the chair. This whole time the circuit's been shorted. It's bothering Jesse. That's good. It's a sign of becoming uh, anal, which makes a good technician. All right, so we've got a shaded pole motor here. We know it's shaded pole because it only has two legs coming into it, right? Otherwise, we'd have to have a capacitor if it was a permanent split capacitor type motor. All right. Okay. Anyway, that was a, that was a little nerdiness. All right. So we've got 240 volts. We got ground here. All right. So what am I going to read if I go from here to here? 120. What am I going to read if I go from here to here? What am I going to read if I go from here to here? What am I going to read if I go from here to here? What am I going to read if I go from here to here? Right. So what, what's the problem there? It's not telling me anything. Because no matter what I do, I'm getting 120. Now, why do I read 120 when I go from here to here? Because the switch is open. Why am I reading 120? L2. It's back feeding through L2, right. So I'm still reading 120 using ground. It really isn't telling me much. Now, let's do this way. I land this lead here. And I go here. What am I going to read? 240. What am I going to read? What am I going to read? I'm going to read nothing because it's connected through here, but it's not doing any work. The motor's not allowed to do any work, so this becomes electrically the same. Which is kind of tricky, because guys think, well, wouldn't there be voltage drop through here? Just trust me, you're gonna get, don't worry about that right now. No work is being done, so you're not going to read anything between these two points. Does that make sense? Follow me? And that's why, that's the danger of guys getting used to using ground. Because ground works fine most cases on 24 volt and 120 volt circuits. In most cases it works okay because in most cases they are properly connected, bonded between common and ground and neutral and ground. But in the case that they're not, it won't work. And then also if guys get used to doing it, they try to do it on 240 volt circuits and they get incorrect diagnosis. Because here's what they do. They go through, and let's say, let's say this isn't an open wire, but instead it's actually a burned up. It's actually an open. Something busted. So they go here and they say, 120, 120? Well, I got power to my motor, why isn't it running? Bad compressor, bad whatever. But it's not how it works. Because in this case, there is no neutral. Ground is only there for a safety circuit. 